It's the big one later on, kick-off at five, England versus Germany in their first knockout match for 11 years. There is a lot of history, of course, between the two sides and there's expected people leaving work early to get home or to uh, go to the pub to watch it, although these days you've got to kind of book a table to do that kind of thing. Uh, th- this time, of course, there is somewhere different where people are going to watch the game later on, the cinema. There's, so this is Arc Cinema in Hucknall, who have sold all of their tickets for tonight's game, and the lucky people who got them can nervously gorge on some popcorn or a hot dog or two whilst eating them. To tell you more about this, we've got the manager no less. Yes, all hail Mark Gallagher from the Arc Cinema in Hucknall. Morning, Mark. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, I'm brilliant, really excited. Are you? Yeah, absolutely. A little bit nervous as well. Oh, I was going to say, I was was going to ask about your emotions, so... Bit of excitement, but some nerves too, yeah? Yeah, I think most people are feeling probably those Mm. those two emotions right now. Yeah. So tell me about what you're doing. Obviously, you know, cinema's closed for quite some time. Here you are back open, but how are you able to to open and do this whole thing safely? Yeah, so um, we are obeying the social distancing uh, rules. So we're not, even though the the screen is sold out, it's only half capacity, which is a shame. Um, If the social distancing rules have been scrapped, last month and it'd be absolutely full and um you know it'd be a much better atmosphere but we still managed to fit 41 people in in there so there'll be enough people for a bit of an atmosphere and it's in my personal favorite screen of our four screens um and i tested the sound out yesterday i put wimbledon on just to test the picture and the sound and it, it's going to be absolutely brilliant i can't wait <laughs> what a horrible job you've got to go absolutely. around so you've got your own personal favorite screen that's right yeah what's so good about it I can't really, a lot of people ask me, I can't really put my finger on it. It's just, it's just the sort of perfect size. It's not even the biggest screen we've got. It's, um, it's the second smallest. It's just the perfect shape, size. I love the, um, the tier of the seats. It's not too steep. It's loads of daft little things that probably make me sound insane. But yeah, I just, no, I just no, 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 no. It doesn't make you sound sad at all, you <laughs> cinema geek. Well, it is, it's kind of your job at the end of the day. So you've got to That's know right. your stuff and your passion's coming through. It's it's great. And what else? So as well as the sound, obviously you've got the big screen going on there as well. So I mentioned their snacks. Just talk me through what else people are going to be enjoying. Yeah, so for the for the ticket price that people have paid, they, they get as part of the package, they get um, a large hot dog, large nachos or large popcorn. Ooh. And they get a lot. They get a large drinks so that could be sort of Coke, Diet Coke, all that sort of thing. Or they can choose a pint of draft lager, Ooh. which I'm guessing will be probably the most popular choice. <laughs> yeah, you've got plenty of all the, all of the above. But then on top of all that, the um, the money left over because we're not allowed to take any money from the ticket price because it's a free to air television event. Um, so the, the the remainder of the money we're donating to um, Hucknall Sports Youth Football Club, which is a local grassroots football. Uh, sort of club. Um, my son plays with them on a Saturday morning and they, I think they do a fantastic job and it's a, it's an absolute honour to be able to just give them a, a few quid after oh, today. That's a nice touch. That's yeah. nice. I like that. So you've got 41 people. So obviously this isn't half capacity, so normally it would be 82. Correct. correct. 41. Is that... I just wonder how quickly those tickets went. Yeah, well, it's funny, but I, I, I probably slipped up a little bit. I put the announcement on our Facebook page about an hour before I was able to put the tickets on sale because because it wasn't a film and it was an, a, a different type of event. The, the back office system was a little bit more complicated than usual, so it took me like an hour longer than I thought it would to put the tickets on sale. But because I'd already posted it on Facebook, the phones were going absolutely bananas. Everyone was ringing up wanting tickets, and I just had to say, look, look, check again in an hour. Check again. Anyway, they finally went on sale about 5 p.m. last uh, Wednesday. So it was the following day after we, after we, you know, we got through on the Tuesday night. So on the Wednesday morning, we put the tickets on sale and uh, two hours, they were all gone. <laughs> wow. And what about for you? I mean, obviously you work there, you'll have other staff as well. So does the 41 yeah. include you? I mean, you're well, not going to have to sit in the back room somewhere and watch it on a little portable or something, are you? You know, it would be sensible for me to just be in there to keep an eye on things as a bit of a security measure. So uh, I have reserved yep. myself a seat, you know, for that good, reason. Good, Matt. Good, Matt. Yeah, probably wearing a tabard or something. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and what about, how are you feeling about, so they're talking about July the 19th and the mood message. I know we've heard this before, but they mm. are saying, you know, 19th of next month now is, that is it for taking the brakes off. So from your point of view, Mark, in your line of work, how, how are you feeling about that? 
Yeah, well, I'm really, really hopeful that that date sticks. Really excited about it. We obviously opened, I don't know if you're aware, but we opened on July 4th, which was the first day hospitality could reopen after the last lockdown. So all we've known here in Hucknall is um, social distancing. So just to be able to sort of free off those shackles, if you like, and just, just be, be some kind of normal. Um, we've not had full capacity screens, which I think we, there's been a, been a couple of occasions where a film has sold out and I've thought, you know what, if we could fill it, I think we would have done. Mm. So I just want to see one of our screens just full of people. That's what I want to see. I'm so excited to see it. How have things been impacted just in terms of f- films? I mean, obviously, the Bond film has been pushed back, hasn't it? Have we yeah, got many... Yeah, have we got many f- big films coming out well, or...? Yeah, so last Friday, the Fast and Furious 9 was released. So that nice. was probably our biggest film we've had um, released yet. And yeah. it, you, can, you can tell, because on, on a Friday, Saturday night, the queues of people going out the door... Um, and it helps create a bit of an atmosphere in the in the foyer when people are getting their drinks and snacks. So that's definitely been the biggest film. And then next week, we've got Marvel uh, Black Widow. So that's the first Marvel film since 2019. Um, so we're really excited about that one. Good stuff. I, I hope it goes well for you tonight. Uh, enjoy the game. You mentioned that you are excited, but also nervous. So give me yeah. your score prediction then, Mark. Oh. <laughs> <That's a tough laughs> I love it when um, people do that. I don't think it's going to be a goal fest like the two games last night. So I think mm. it'll be a, a steady sort of 1 0. 1 0 England, I'm going to go. All right. Harry Kane's going to get his goal. Okay. Oh, all right. Be He's be going to get his goal. I've got to say that. Okay. Well, you're a what? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, now you dropped that bombshell <laughs> at the end. Get off. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mark. Good luck for later on. It's Mark Gallagher. By the way, um, a second guest called Mark on today's show. And, and people are already putting two and two together and getting. 16 and wonder if it's some kind of Mark's taking over the world. Yes, we are actually just, you know, just one of those things. So the Arc Cinema in Hucknall, uh, half capacity because them's the rules on the big screen. Come on, England. 